Welcome back to Sub-Zero Hero. You can always rely on FM21 for an unusual managerial appointment, and we've got one in this save as Stuart McCall has moved out to join us in the top division in Norway. To be honest, we need the cheering up. Do you remember in the last episode where I prophesied that we were about to go on a tough run? I did not think it would be this bad. We have got sucked into a relegation battle. We've got five games remaining. We've not won in the previous 10, things are starting to look pretty bleak. So we'll get to that table in a moment and show you just how bad things are looking for us, but let's explain why it's all been going wrong first of all, and we're not blaming the attack. We've been scoring plenty of goals, but we cannot keep clean sheets, and our worst enemy is the defensive set piece. Not so much the corners, and we've only conceded two from those all season. It's the free kicks where we've struggled, conceding three direct free kicks, five indirect free kicks, eight in total, and you can double that when you throw in the penalties that we've conceded as well. Eight of those have gone against us now. We're not playing get stuck in, by the way. I've been playing stay on feet for the last half dozen games. Doesn't make the blindest bit of difference. We conceded three penalties in our last fixture, and it means that we have slid down the table. We're on 28 points. We've got two points since we saw you last, and a whole heap of defeats. Now, understandably, we were playing a lot of the teams in the top half of the table, but now we've got five games remaining, and they're all against teams that are in and around us at the bottom. If we don't get our act together soon, well, they are going to be scoring three points against us, and dragging us into that relegation battle. So things are starting to look a little bit grim. This is the run of form. So the last time we saw you, we were getting a 2-2 draw against a team that was in the relegation zone. You'll see a lot of these defeats are narrow. We played Bode Glimp too, are the top of the table team. We almost matched them in terms of the XG. We'd equalised in the 83rd minute of this game, although they scored the winner just 60 seconds later, despite the fact that they were down to 10 men. I thought we were going to get a good result in that game, but we were denied. We picked up a 1-1 draw with Mulder. A narrow 2-1 defeat to Odd, now considering how easily they'd beaten us in the cup earlier in the season. That wasn't the worst result. Neither was a narrow win against Christiansund or... A narrow 2-1 defeat to Bran. We lost 4-2 to Vullerenga. In fact, we were 4-0 down in this game. But we weren't without our chances. Look at the XG. We were well in that game, even though they were punishing us from set plays. They scored from a direct free kick. They scored from a penalty. And they scored from an indirect free kick as well. And when you can't defend these set pieces... It means that you're out of these games sometimes before they've even got going. Then we had a game that we really needed to win. It was against Starbeck, who were down there towards the bottom of the table. But we could only get a 2-2 draw and we had to scramble for it. We were two goals down after 34 minutes. And you guessed it, the old indirect free kicks were at downfall once more, fortunately. Mr. Shernison got two goals for us, and it was us that was pushing for the winner. But we can't keep clean sheets, and it is costing us. And then, to our most recent game. Look at the XGs here. As is 2.7. Granted, theirs is a lot higher, but they had not one, not two, but three penalties given in this game. And they scored from an indirect free kick as well. We have trained set pieces. We've rearranged all of our defensive set piece routines. And we cannot keep them out at the moment. So we are really struggling. Today, well today we've got a game against Start. And Start are the team that are rooted to the foot of the table. But we are in no kind of form at all. A win today? Well, the whole table takes on a completely different complexion. If we get the defeat that I'm fearing, we are in a world of trouble. 
So here is the team we're going to be sending out for this all-important game. By the way, we've had a media message to say that Start haven't won in their last 23 games. This is going to be an embarrassing defeat if we suffer it. You can see we can only just about make a bench for this game. We are a little bit injury ravaged. We've also had Deuce and Ibsen missing for the last three or four games as he's been off with the Norwegian under-21s and has been unfit ever since he came back. By the way, he was in that under-21 squad with Trond Agner Bratton, who's now got two under-21 caps, even though he's only 18 years old, and he is developing into a pretty decent prospect now, I would say. So we're going to be playing Pedersen in goal, who has been in very good form for us. He's had a lot of practice with our leaky defence, and he's perhaps the only player I would say is not culpable of being wretched in his defensive work over the last six to eight games. We're going to be playing riding over on the left purely due to a lack of options. He can be good on his day. Woefully inconsistent though. Usually absolutely terrible. We're bringing Deuce and Dibson back into the side today. He's going to be playing with little Kimmy Herum who has been playing all right the last game or two. But again, perhaps not as strong as you'd like for a Premier Division midfielder. Over on the wing, we've got Schoenerson, whose pace is now up to 18. He's actually been playing pretty well the last couple of games. And he's had to, because Gerser has been struggling with a knock for the last four or five weeks. And then we've got two players up front who've had a little bit of a barren streak. Hugo Emperor has been knocking in the occasional penalty just to keep his stats up. Hartfigson went on a huge run without scoring, but has now managed to get one in his last game against Rosenborg, as well as scoring four in a friendly just before that. Otherwise, he was on a very, very poor run of average ratings and of goal scoring. But we know Hartfigson, once he gets his eye back in, Sometimes he can go on a little run and bang some in and we're going to need him in these final five games if we're going to move our way up the table. We're going to hit submit team. We're going to see you for the kickoff. And we are underway. If we're going to do anything in today's game, by the way, we're going to need the starting 11 to do it for us because we don't have an awful lot on the bench out there. It's a bench full of youngsters as well as some players who've not been performing well recently. So we need our starting 11 to have big games. We need big Hugo Emper and Jonas brother Hartvigsen to do the business for us up front because we've got no other attacking options down there. Chrissy Nutson, well, he's been injured on and off for the last what, half a season, really. So we're going to need big performances from our players. Hartvigsen has just perfected the skill, by the way, of going around the keeper, oh, as well as dinking them and having them cleared off the line. So we'll see whether he can get a goal for us today. Ness has picked up the ball. We've made a reasonable start by the looks of things. Riding, he's got an overlapping fullback who he makes check inside by giving him a poor pass and then ooh, he just taps it behind for a goal kick. Start are coming at us now. We need to win this ball back and counter on them. This is a team, I will repeat, that have not won for the best part of a season. If we lose to these, honestly, we could be in the boardroom. Oh, goodness me, and I thought Pedersen was going to moonwalk one into his own goal. We're going to throw out a shout of demand more. It's done the body language good, but it's not... Created an immediate chance, has it? They've had more shots on target than us, by the way. Not the best start to a game, really, is it? We're going to nudge it up to a positive mentality. Encourage them to take a few more risks going forward. We'll see if that helps. What have we got? Ness has got the ball in the right back position. Deuce and Ibsen. He's got riding in. Anything's possible when he's on the ball. All right, and we'll take that. Auden Schoenerson has tackled one into the start goal. This was not pretty. I suppose the ball out's not bad. The cross in from riding isn't brilliant. And shall we say that he meant that? Did he slip? 
I don't know, he's on a good run of goal-scoring form. We'll give him some credit. We'll say that he meant it. Looked like he was just trying to tackle their player to me, though. And we're on the cusp of half-time, and we're into the highlights again. What do we got? Deuce and Dibson. He's pinged another one through. I'm not fully on board with this riding, you know. My shopping list for our next youth intake is getting longer, the worse we perform. It started off as just needing a good striker. Then I added a centre-half to the list. Now I'm thinking we need a creative midfielder and a left winger and a right winger and a left back. That's all I'm asking for. Right, it's time for a chat with the boys. It's time for a mug of tea. It's time to tell them that we need another goal or so because I don't trust these boys to keep a clean sheet in this second half. And we're back underway. I've given them the old don't you get complacent now chat and see whether that will just help steady their performance at the start of this second half. Maybe, who knows? Encourage them to grab us a second goal. To do that, though, we're going to have to win the ball back. There's a lot of space out there, isn't there? They've gone past our left back. And, oh, God, they have blasted a long ranger from the edge of the box wide. That was not really the start that I was hoping for. We've now given away possession once more. This is a little bit of an unsteady start. We've got the ball, though. Emper. He likes to drop deep and he likes to give the ball away whenever he can. Deuce and Ibsen, though, we have just rotated into a little deep line playmaker role for this game. And he is spraying some passes back there for us, isn't he? Maybe he might play there for the rest of this season because he's looking creative. However, we are looking weak and now they've struck a post. We don't have leaders at the back. We've got a very young back four and a very inexperienced goalkeeper. And they just seem at sixes and sevens back there. We've got the ball forward to Hartfixen though. It took a little deflection to get to him, but he's in. And he's dribbled to the byline and then tried to shoot for an impossible angle. Didn't work for him. Still, I guess that was a little bit better. God, we're only five minutes into this half. We've already had plenty of highlights. Quieting down a little bit now. Maybe when we get to the 60-minute mark, we should think about looking at getting some fresh legs onto the pitch. Okay, we have made a little change in central midfield. We've brought Ola Christian Jensen on. Well, because that's all we've got really on the bench. I was looking for options. We've got Tony Berg, who I think has got one foot out the door. I don't think we'll be renewing his contract. And we've got a youngster who, well, last time he played for the first team, he got sent off in our last episode. So it was real slim pickings. I'm not even sure we've got a second substitution in us, to be honest. And this game is far from one, is it? This is a team we're playing who should have no confidence whatsoever but we have not been able to put this game to bed so far. In fact, they are just playing through us at will. Look at this. And they're in. And they've scored. And it's an absolute shambolic bit of defending once more. This is not a good team. And they have passed their way through us with absolute ease. But we've got to stay on feet on because otherwise they're just going to be giving away penalties. But that was more of a problem of not tracking runners. Absolutely woeful defending once more. At least we've got the break shout with us. That was poor. And now we're getting towards 70 minutes and we're looking to try and hold on for a point, I would say. We're going to see whether there's anything else we can do from the bench because we have got... To try and find another goal. Absolutely nothing on the bench. The best we could do was to bring on a new centre half and take off a Doy Hansen who was playing a 6.4. Another Norwegian under 21 international, by the way. He's been poor for the last half a season. And my goodness, we could be about to go behind now. We cannot win the ball. In fact, I'm tempted to take 
the stay on feet call off and tell them that they can start making challenges again because we are getting run ragged in fact let's do that little move right now let's take off the stay on feet we won't put get stuck in on the boys are just not making any challenges at all i guess that's what we want because otherwise we're going to give away a penalty but this this is a poor end to the game we've hacked the ball clear though what do we got then picking up a booking all right We've now got, what, eight minutes. We're into the highlights. Could be one for us. Deuce and Ibsen. No, they've cleared it and they're breaking on us. They're countering. Come on, you can put tackles in now. Close them down. Oh, nothing. They've gone past us. They've gone over and Farris is in. It's an absolute killer blow. Oh, what more have we got that we can do? We've got nothing on the bench. Nothing on the bench whatsoever. In fact, we can try this. We can get Emper to move over. We can put Shernison up top. Ask him to be a, a poacher, I guess. We'll bring on Tony Berg, who we disparagingly said won't be playing again. And we're going to ask little Tony to come on as an attacking central midfielder. We're going to change these to wing backs. And we're going very attacking and we're also going to have to push our lines right up. And throw on the get stuck in. We are losing to a team that has not won in 23 games. This is how bad our form is. We are not looking like a Premier Division club. And our defence is just rubbish. Playing a standard defensive line shouldn't be quite so easy to just run past our centre-backs and get onto the ball. We've also got poor performances from Emper. Another poor one from Hartvigsen. And we've got the final whistle about to blow. And we are looking in all kinds of trouble. And the whistle has gone. And that is an absolute catastrophe. The water bottle is going I don't even care that they seem demotivated. We are absolutely, absolutely on our knees right now. So we are seven points clear of Starbeck. They've got a game in hand. If they win it, well, we'll only be, what, five points ahead of dropping into that relegation playoff. And we can't even beat the bottom team in the division. I think by the next time you see us, we could be playing our last game in the Premier Division or at best scrapping for survival.